hello 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 queens i'm back at y'all with another client tutorial and today i'm showing y'all how i created this beautiful blue full glam look and y'all already know without further ado we're jumping straight into the video i'm starting this off by cleaning my client's face Now that her face is all clean, I'm just gonna start on her eyebrows. So I'm taking my Nika K brow pencil. This one is in the shade black and I'm using it to outline her brows. Now that both of the brows have been outlined, I'm just filling in all the sparse areas. And I like to start at the back and just work my way up to the front. Once I've made my way to the front of the brows, I'm gonna switch out the shades of my eyebrow pencil. I'm going in with this dark brown shade. And as you can see, I'm doing little hair-like strokes. And then once I have it all filled in, I just go over it with my spoolie to make sure that everything is well blended and I fill in more if need be. Now that both of the brows have been filled in, I'm taking my Eye Envy Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm applying a generous amount into her brows. This is going to help me mold her brow hairs down in place. So as you can see, I'm laying them down using the spoolie end of my pencil. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going in with these two concealers, and they're in the shades 01 and Deep Olive. First, I'm taking the Nika K concealer, which was in the shade 01, and I'm using this to clean up underneath her arch. I'm going to finish blending out this concealer and then for the remainder of the way I'm going in with the e.l.f. concealer which was in the shade Deep Olive and I'm going to use it to clean up on the top and the bottom of her eyebrows.
as y'all can see we have one nice clean eyebrow i'm gonna go ahead and finish blending out this concealer and then i'm gonna move on to the other side Now that both of the brows are clean, I'm going in with my NARS concealer and I'm using this as my eyeshadow base. I don't know the shade name, but I know that it's the lightest shade that they have. Next, I'm taking my RCMA loose powder and I'm going to be pressing this throughout the front of her brows to lighten them up. And I'm also using it to set some of the concealer in place. For today's eyeshadow look, I went in with my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette. I'm going to try to have all the shade names in the description box down below. But first, I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just applying it to her crease. Now I'm going in with this warm toned eyeshadow and I'm using it as my transition shade. So as you can see, I'm just applying it over that first shade that we use. And I'm gonna try to mesh these two colors together by using a medium tone brown. I actually believe I used my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee and I went in between the two shadows. I'm going back in with that NARS concealer and I'm using it to open up her lid space a little bit more.
I'm taking this matte blue eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the inner corners of her eyes. And this was a very beautiful color, y'all. But for me, I wanted it to be a little lighter. So after I applied it, I went on top of it with a matte white eyeshadow just to get it to the perfect shade. Now I'm taking this metallic teal colored eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this all over her lids. This is a no cut crease look so it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to be blended. So make sure that you take your time when applying these eyeshadows. be the finished look for the eyes and we're moving on to the face so I'm going in with my Pond's moisturizer and I'm using this to hydrate her skin I'm taking my damp real technique sponge and I'm using it to blend the moisturizer into her face This product and her T-zone. 
I went ahead and sculpted her face off camera so now that I'm finished blending out the concealer I'm going in with my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana Rich and I'm using it to set the concealer in place. I'm taking my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium and I'm using the sculpting shade to bronze up her face. Now I'm going in with a little bit more of my Morphe Loose Powder in the shade Banana Rich and I'm using it to set the remaining areas of her face. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the edge of her waterline. Now I'm just taking some brown eyeshadow and I'm smoking out her lower lash line. Now that the under eyes are finished, I'm going to go ahead and sweep away all of the powder. I'm going to spray her face in place with some of my Morphe setting spray and then we're going to move on to lashes. While her lashes are drying, I'm just going to go in and highlight her face. Last but not least, it's time to do the lip. So I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the level number 16 and I'm using it to outline her lips. I'm going in with my Absolute New York Liquid Lipstick and I'm just going to apply it to the center of her lips using this disposable lip wand. And I went on top of it with this pale pink lip gloss. I'm going to have her press her lips together to help me blend this out. Once I'm finished blending out the lips, that'll be the completed look and we'll be stepping into the grand reveal so I'm going to let y'all watch. Okay, ready to see? This is cute. I should put the earring in. Man, I gotta turn a little period. It has been a long time. No, y'all missed this. Okay queens, as y'all can see by my girl's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next one. Bye bye queens.